trust in this bubble of ours Imploding there's no time to talk As combustible as we are We might not make it far I'll be collecting my thoughts in a jar we committed that we would always like create awareness in our own apartments first and make sure that our sewage isn't going to the wrong place. It seems where the water goes from our house and where it comes in from our house and if it's actually being treated and where it's going after it's being treated and if it's being recycled. Because quite frankly it's not going to have any impact if we're all just a bunch of hip hypocrites asking everybody to clean up their water when we're not doing the same thing. The short term solutions that we came up with were create awareness, bring the issues of Vartu Lake to the, to the government, uh, bring green criminals, the people who run the factories and people who pollute the lake to justice by imprisoning them and uh, we can hold seminars on environmental education and make sure schools teach environmental management to the pupils. We wanted to map the quality level of the water in different places to see which areas of Vartu Lakes are Vartu Lake is actually most affected because it is a big lake. Releasing African catfish in Vartu. So we learned that African catfish can survive with low amounts of oxygen and they'll eat the mosquito larva and algae in the lake. And then also um, visiting apartments near Vartu, Vartu Lake and checking there. STP plants and operations and checking if they're up to date and if they're working and if not, give them the right contacts to get those, get those treatment plans working. We plan to install D-walls in villages. These are basically small STPs um, that run without electricity underground and they're not expensive. Once at these STPs are installed, we're going to make sure that the catfish are put in the lake to revive the ecosystem and also to solve the problem of mosquitoes. Our short-term action was to dispel the myths about pollutants in the lake, like actually recognize what's be out of what's being said, recognize what's actually, be what's actually true and what should be believed. And also we wanted to uh, tell people about the confirmation bias to actually try to make sure that there's some concrete data which tells you something before you believe in it. One aspect which I thought was really cool was they understood that you know all problems are interconnected you know whether it's garbage or encroachment or you know apathy all these issues are connected it's not just about one lake being polluted so and their solutions looked at different aspects right so that was I thought was pretty uh, you know important that, that they grasp that concept. We elders are living by borrowing their tomorrow to sensitize them about their future is our duty as academicians. As a teacher, I find that it's my responsibility to make the children understand what their future needs to be. And it's the, their right to have clean air, clean energy and uh, clean water as well as clean environment. Maybe we could film about two minute snippets of people's lives and how it revolves around Vartur and um, they can help us gain viewership for our video, uh, videos by putting it up on their website. To actually start clean up of lakes from the very source because they're all interlinked and uh, we thought that if we start upstream because uh, the water that flows through Vartur actually goes down to the lakes below. In six months we bring this issue to government attention. We make changes in our own communities at home and we bring uh, parents also to get involved. In one year we hope to educate children everywhere and each child should be an agent for change. There's no time to wait I'll be collecting my thoughts in a jar Holding it forever we talked to a BWSSB engineer yesterday. He said there's a sewage treatment plant uh, under construction in Amani Kere, which is an area near Vartur Lake. So our 12-month plan is to encourage farmers 
to go work on that sewage treatment plant and help in the construction. So, because as we know in India, uh, usually things happen slowly. They say one year, it takes like three years. So if we encourage these farmers to go work on the, on the sewage treatment plant, it'll happen much faster and they get the benefit, of course. If we get to like really meet with the government and talk to them, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a bottle of Bartow Lake water and tell them that unless they solve the problem, in two years everyone's going to be drinking the water from Bartow Lake. And if they don't solve the problem, well, there's going to be a lot of sickness. So it's up to the government. I think it's really good that children have come together. They've developed the mindset that they, they can be the change. The answers lie within them. And they've learned the skills. Uh, they've developed knowledge in terms of how to go about it, in terms of observing, in terms of mapping, in terms of interacting with people, pulling it all together, asking the right questions, and mostly recognizing that it's not up to any one person or any one stakeholder. They recognize the that you know, it, it's basically the interdependence between different stakeholders, and that one has to work in collaboration and work positively towards something. I think that was the big learning for me, watching children come forward. Um, it was gratifying to see that they've understood that. Grenades are strapped to our heart. By our side, driving on faith. There's no time to wait. I'll be collecting my thoughts in a jar.